I got to go and move on because I have some people. Um, Lauren, I'm talking now, so I want you guys to get focused um, with this. Now, when looking at this example, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing is we can only combine them when they have exactly the same radicand. And you can see here I have 250, 54, and 8, right? So that's not going to work. Now, well, again, when we're taking a cube root, we want to write down numbers that are cubed. So the most important thing is for you guys to know the cube numbers. Yes, you can use prime factorization. Yes, you can break down 8 into 2 times 2 times 2. But do you guys want to keep on doing that for all these problems? It kind of gets old. So the way that I like to always do it is think about the cube number 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Those are the most common cube numbers you guys will be using. And if you guys can remember those, it will greatly help you when solving cubed, uh, the cube root. Because what I can do is, can I rewrite 250 as a product of one of these numbers? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Which one? 125. 125. Of 125 times 2. Can I rewrite 54 as a product of one yeah, of these numbers? 27. 27. I just down 25 times 10. Yeah, yeah, 8 times 1. Yeah, you can do it that way. But I'm just saying, I mean, it's, it, when you do it over and over, like it, it, yeah, it gets old, too. And then, guess what? We already know what the cube root of 8 is, which one. is 2. <laughs> 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Now, What's important about this is why can I take the square, why can I take the cube root of 125? Why can I take the cube root of 27? Because those numbers, as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, are cubed numbers. So like we talked about, 125 is 5 cubed. 27 is 3 cubed. So to take the cube root of a cubed number, right? Those are inverse operations. They undo each other. So the cube root of 5 cubed is just 5 times the cube root of 2. The cube root of 3 cubed is just going to be 3 times the cube root of 2 plus 2. Now, we see that I have the cube root of 2 and the cube root of 2. Well, I have 5 of them and I have 3 of them. So if I combine them, I'm going to get 8 cube root of 2 plus 2. I can't do anything with the 2. I can't combine it over this. I have to leave it just by itself. So this is your simplified answer. Yes. Got it. Got it.